Hi there. So in this video, we are going to see how to use input dialog in PySide Python. So make sure that you have Python installed. Also make sure that you have PySide installed for your operating system. Once you have these two, you can run the code explained in the video. So open your text editor and save one file with name demo.py. Once you do that, type in import sys next thing from by side import qt gui okay and then next thing is create one application instance by typing app equals to q application here you can point sysargui you can also make qt gui instance for this simply call qt GUI dot Q application and sys dot RV. Then create one variable name GUI and here you point QT GUI dot Q widget. Okay. The next thing we are going to take text and OK button. So if you want to collect that data from your input dialog, then you can do so. Now call for QT GUI q input dialog and then get text okay and here you basically call for gui variable also put one question within your dialog box and then have three double quotes and then ask your question do you like let's say do you like fries and then three double quotes and finally we are going to display our GUI and call for app dot exec underscore method okay so this is a simple program that I'm going to run not going to connect any signal for our input dialog not going to connect um, with your command prompt and get those takes but still I use these two because I want to extend that in future video for program so open command prompt type in python demo.py and here is our input dialog box it asks me questions is do you like fries I can type in yes and if I click on OK then a new blank window should open or if I just close it it should close the box or I can use cancel to close the box I'm going to click on OK and you'll find this blank box have some sort of signal attached to it okay now let me execute again and check other actions you can also find cancel that will also call for this window so let's execute again and see if I can close it properly okay so even close has that action so here they are expecting to have some sort of action and close that immediate window that occurs okay so this was short introduction on input dialog you can extend this by collecting that input and processing in next video uh, window or you can also get that input and display it on your console so go through this code and see if you can do the same and you can also collect that input and process it